It is the middle of February. It's about 14 degrees today. Our lowest air temperature was minus 19 Fahrenheit a few weeks ago. But the sun's getting higher in the sky. Our chestnut tree is still dormant, but that will change in the next few months. But my mind is moving on towards spring, and I want to make a concerted effort this year to try to propagate this tree. Now, as I pointed out in my previous video on this American chestnut tree, most of the nuts that it produces seem to be infertile. But I did save two that I found that seem to be fertile. So the other thing I want to do this spring is canvas the area a bit more and look for other chestnut trees because it's impossible to have a fertile nut without having a second tree. Most likely search area is to the south here. And I believe there may be another one hiding here that's just on the edge of pollination range that will allow this tree to have some pollination success, but not great. The other reason I think it's to the south here because the predominant wind is from the northwest. And so being on the south side here would not have be good for wind currents to get that pollination affecting it. Um, so the occasional south wind is likely when it travels to this tree and creates some pollination. Like I said, it's the middle of February. This may be a bit early, but I can't wait any longer. I'm going to see if these two chestnut seeds will sprout. So I'm going to put these two seeds in these pots with some potting mix. Put them in a self-facing windowsill here and see if we can get some germination. Now some people have asked how this tree has survived the blight or how to protect a tree from the blight. I have no idea. I don't think there's been a consensus on that yet. Overall, this tree it seems to be in very good health. It's getting its leaves at the same time as all the other trees. It's losing its leaves probably later than the rest of the trees, but I think that's just to do with the species, more of on the timetable of an oak. Um, so maybe it's just my location where I'm further enough, far enough west, the blight has not made it here. Wind currents didn't bring it here for some reason. Just the way the jet stream works, it hasn't made its way here. But one thing that I've noticed on this tree, as you can see, here in the bottom, there's some significant damage that's been a long time ago. I believe this was another trunk coming out here. And over time, it probably just got crowded out. This was uh, a mature woods before we moved in here and had to clear some, some other trees to put the house in. But that's healed up very nicely. So let's cross our fingers and hope we can get this tree's genetics and carry them on into a new generation of trees and keep the species going. So my plan for this year is to obviously do everything in my power to make those two seeds germinate and grow and maybe I'll probably keep them in pots for this year to see how they do. I don't want them to freeze out or get eaten by animals so if I do plant them I'm gonna have to really protect them. Um, we'll see how that goes throughout the year. The other thing once the snow melts I want to get up here and canvas this area for additional trees. And I think the easiest way in spring to identify those will be to look for the, the seed husks on the ground, the spiky pods that have opened up. That's the telltale sign, obviously. Um, so I'm hopeful I'll be able to find some more. Then in fall, I'll be able to hit some additional spots and to look for more fertile seeds and carry on this propagation process even further. So stay tuned. I will be providing updates every time I go through these little gates. We'll see if we can do a little something to help save these giants.